both counties in the intermediate decider have former glories to live up to. Waterford won no fewer than five senior All-Irelands in the 90s, while Armagh reached an All-Ireland senior final only six years ago. They both have ambitions to get back to the top. Yeah, six years ago we met Cork and unfortunately we got beat by a point. And um, that was the 2005, we just came up straight away. So we were, we were lucky to be in two finals two years in a row. And we've waited a long six years to get back here. So, you know, we're now really thinking this is our only chance to win the intermediate and to get back up to senior where we really think we can be contenders in senior championship as well. Would it be fair to say that Waterford are a bit of a sleeping giant? And I'm wondering if that giant is waking up. Is there much of a buzz down in Waterford? There is, there is, you know, like, as I was saying earlier, you know, that's the schools are getting involved now and there's... Bus has been organised going up to the match, you know, getting their support behind us. But a sleeping giant, I suppose, what we like to do things the hard way. And we did go the long way with things this year. But, I mean, some people can say that's better for us. You know, we have three good, solid games under our belts now again, and which will help us on Sunday. Have you been able to draw on any of the All-Ireland winners from many years ago? Have you had any words of advice maybe from previous captains? It's in your county after all. It is, of course, yeah. I mean, like the likes of Siobhan O'Ryan or Rebecca Hallan. Again, all Ballymac ladies as I was saying, closely in this area, so they've been just telling us. But I mean, we know ourselves, you know, we can all play football. Again, it's just a matter of going in, being confident, being calm in the ball and doing the simple things. All the girls have the skill and we know, so we're in Crow Park now on Sunday and that's it. But I mean, a lot of football is to do with your head and thinking and just being calm. And as, as you said, being confident on the ball, you know, knowing that when you're going out there that you're going to win that ball and get that ball. Sure, like, it's a lot of psychological stuff as well, football is, you know. You know, we know the girls have the skill, but it's just being right in the head on the day as well. You've played here before and your father played it here before. 35 years ago, that'll be great for him to come along and see you. Yeah, he's really looking forward to Sunday. You know, he's there's a great buzz in the house because my younger sister, Catherine, is a goalkeeper as well and he's been training her hard now the past couple of weeks and he's really looking forward to it. He always said to us that he was here playing once and he never got the opportunity to come back and play again. So just take the most of it and enjoy the occasion. Have you thought much at all about walking up the steps and possibly making a speech? Well, just a wee bit, but I know, first of all, the game has to be played and the game has to be won, but, you know, girls have been telling me, just think about it, you know, when training and stuff, walking up them steps and lifting the cup, it would just be a great honour for me and, you know, it makes so many people proud in Armagh for us to take the cup home again. I'm sure the last thing you want to think about is lifting the cup because you don't want to jinx yourself, but, you know, you're all Ireland captain, it could happen, you, it must be a dream for you. Oh, jeez, it is, like, I mean, we were here in 2010 and we lost Donegal by two points and... You'd be depressed for weeks, days, weeks after it. Like, I mean, there's nothing more now that I'd love to lift that cup now. But as I said, I don't want to jinx myself now, so we'll just focus on the game. And if it comes to it, then I'll, I'll lift it above my head, yeah.